afternoon and overnight, which has brought with it some cloud. <clears throat> now, we have a summer and a winter rainfall climate in South Africa on our west coast, close to Cape Town. We have a Mediterranean climate or winter rainfall. Rain predominantly brought in by cold fronts moving out of Antarctica or off of the Antarctic Sea into and over southern Africa. In this particular area we're supposed to have a summer rainfall area and we get our rain generally from tropical air sucked out of the equatorial Africa or in rare occurrences our heaviest rain comes in by cyclones off of the Indian Ocean and between the Mozambican Channel. And that's the cloud that you're seeing at the moment. This cloud is just the remnants from a cold front out of Antarctica. It's not really what you're watching now. I've said nothing <coughs> about the grey go-away bird. <coughs> Excuse me. And that crest that you're having a look at is diagnostic of these particular birds, this family of birds or this group of birds called the Turacos. Almost all of them have these crests. I find that the grey luris crest or the grey go-away birds crest, the one you're looking at at the moment, is probably one of the most fantastic of all their crests, only because they can erect it so straight and upright. Frugivorous birds, and by that I mean they are generally eating fruits and berries and nuts and seeds. They will take insects on occasion, I think. It's actually trying to confirm that at the moment. Let me see. I quite enjoy these birds. They've got a very raucous call that sounds exactly like they're saying go away, which is where they got their name, gray, the grey go away bird from. Let me see if I can find you a picture of some other turacos. Alright, so food, mostly fruit, but also flowers and buds and insects and nectar. Let me show you how colorful this group of birds are. Now these are all the turacos. This is the one that we're having a look at right now. And you can see how fantastically colored all of these ones. The one that you're looking at now, this one is also resident in this area. We find a lot of them in the riverine bush. For the rest, we don't find them here at all. The rest are all forest birds. So the great go-away bird being, and the purple crested luri being the, these two here, being the only true bush felt ones. Aren't they fantastic? I would almost argue that the grey go-away bird is the most bizarrely coloured of all of them, considering it is completely lacking in colour. 